Hello everyone, this is Monsef Afker and uh, thank you so much for joining us in this new call of uh, Your Divine Uniqueness. Thank you for your presence, for being here with us today, whether live or on the replay. And uh, yeah, also very excited that uh, Alta Yulia is back on the show. Um, and uh, yeah, whenever she joins, she joins us, um, really feel very excited, very happy because um, from my own personal experience with her, I really love her work. Um, and I experience how powerful it is, like how she can go with you very deep into the root cause of the issue and help you transmute and shift that. And uh, that's something that can be um, maybe at times a little bit uh, challenging to do on our own. But when we receive a guidance and support from a healer like uh, Alta, um, it can make the process very, um, how to say, very, very easier or maybe graceful. And uh, yeah, also I love that because from my interaction with her, I loved how um, how authentic and like I really felt that she really shares from from her heart and she wants to give to support others and share her gifts. And at the same time, she she sees others as as empowered being as equals, and she sees like her power also in in others it's like uh, it's not because sometimes we feel as we approach a healer we feel that maybe they will change our life they will save us but my experience with her it was more about an empowering experience and remembering um my my true my true power and uh, and true gifts so yeah i love that about her as well and um for those of you who are new to her she is a multi-dimensional master energy healer shaman quantum healer accredited training provider and uh, the call today will be about the wounded healer the witch wound and healing the divine feminine so um so we will now learn about those three and how they connect to each other and also she will um she will guide us on a group process um which will be about uh clearing fear of being in our truth so yeah, it will be a very powerful call, so I'm very excited about it. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, just uh, before we start, just want to remind you that as always, you can ask your question. And if you want to do that, you can raise your hand on Zoom by pressing reactions, then raise hand. And um, on your phone by pressing star nine. And also you can type your questions on the chat boxes on Zoom and, uh, and on YouTube. And yeah, so with that, Alta, welcome back to the show. Happy to have you with us. I'm so excited to be here. It's such a beautiful topic. And we know there are many healers out, even in our audience, okay, that they need this. They need this. And also to, to feel supported, to not feel judged, to feel that they have an anchor of help, even an understanding here even if someone just bring some understanding to their healing journey and it's so it's so important related to our call i would like to make a dedication of this call first of all both patterns belongs to the divine feminine both of them so i want to dedicate this call to the healing of the divine feminine and the rising of the divine feminine in the korean age in the new earth and in the same time bringing recognition and healing to our ancestors to healers of the old shamans of the old, witches of the old, people who suffered just because they spoke it out, just because they used healing, healing arts in any way, shape, or form. It's the time to bring healing to their souls too. In this, I will also connect with all your ancestors, inviting them to receive. 
because I am honored to be a part of this community of being healer, shaman, and all, okay, and serving the path. Beautiful. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Olda. And uh, yeah, also what I love about that, because when we recognize and uh, honor and do healing for our ancestors, it's it's like it's something that affects the the, the our own lineage, like from past and and future, because it feels like we are shifting the the timeline for for all of us. And uh, yeah, thank you for uh, for doing that. And uh, so yeah, my, my first question will be: How do you define the wounded healer, and to which wound? Maybe what are the aspects of them, or the origins of uh, of them? Yes. <clears throat> so. Sorry for the voice. I explained with the allergies and what happened. Why? So, with the wounded healer, the pattern of the wounded healer, the error type, was recognized first time in the Greek mythology. Chiron, that was wounded by an arrow, poisoned arrow of Hercules. Okay, And he couldn't heal. He was carrying with him until the centaur. Carrying with him the wound until he gone in the world of Hades. Okay, in the world. <laughs> yes. So first time it's mentioned in the Greek mythology. From there, the Chiron pattern is mentioned by the Swiss psychologist and psychiatrist Carl Jung. Okay, he recognized the pattern of the wounded wounded healer, even if he doesn't mention in his work the word healer. He speaks about the wounded physician. Here with the wounded physician wounded healer, he also mentioned very important part that the key of healing any physical issues or any other issues is found in the psyche of the patient. From there goes, if we deny the wound or feeling resentful, revengeful, or being afraid to face the wound, the heal healing will never come. Because the healing and the medicine of the healing is in the wound. The gems are there. So they can be found only facing the wound, not bypassing through feeling victimized, through this kind of, no, that's not healing. You must recognize, you must face, bring not to the, not only to the understanding, but also to the, the emotional, the emotional pattern, do the shadow work. It's about the shadow work. In the same time, in that, you will find the acceptance of the wound, the lesson of the wound. With seeing this, open up truly the gates of healing. Well, with the pattern of Chiron, okay, or the wounded healer, the wounded physician, the pattern, why I said that is found in the divine feminine, because it's about picking up other people's energy, other people's pain, just in order to make them feel better. Also, to be prone to different type of abusive relationships, being abandoned, being betrayed, being 
being neglected, being abused in so many sh shape and form, also picking up, okay, the energy of others, giving away your own energy just in order for the other to feel better. Now, in the healer, it's found this pattern by taking the client's pain just to make them feel better or heal them instead of showing and doing the work instead of holding the space. So, and many, many healers also in different type of abusive relationship environment, family, for example, even in family relationships, okay, being the scapegoat. That's formally picking up, taking on yourself all the guilt, shame, blame, all that others induces because they want to control. In that moment, they step on your own power and you willingly, doesn't matter if consciously or subconsciously, you give it away. In the same time, exposing your, yourself and let yourself being wounded. You see? And also, as empath, as healer, if you cannot stand any form of suffering, you prefer to give away your energy, your power, just for the other to feel better so-called to bring healing. That's not healing. That's giving away your true essence. That's not healing. Because the, the key and the medicine and in the shamanic healing is uh, recognized, the pattern formally of any wound, any trauma is found in the wound. In the wound is the gem and the key. And from there, when you access, not, re not feeling victimized, victim consciousness, let's see a little bit, okay? Not being resentful, not being hateful, not being whatever negative emotion or feel, feeling humiliated, okay? Or let yourself being exposed in this way, okay? So, in that moment, being in that resentful type of energy, any form of anger, resentment with all these, okay? In that, in that moment, we open up the gates without knowing, okay, to the dark forces. Over there, what they want, soul lessons. That's one. Life force energy. Okay, we give away a part of the life force energy because being victimized, you consider yourself that you life forsaken you. God betrayed you. God punishing you. And so on. And that's not true because it's our decision. Do we want to face and step up? Or we are in the position of running away, not facing it. Until now, until now, it's a little bit clear. In this, with the wounded healer, I would give, um, give some, some examples how I've gone through it. And even using traditional methods, okay, I thought that is healed. Oh, yeah. Until I didn't go to the root of the root, I repeated the pattern in another way. Nothing else. So, not knowing to say no. That's the lesson of assertivity. To not let, to not do other people's work just because 
they come to you and you use your time. You don't give yourself even Saturday, Sunday, any free time, little bit to recover, okay? Not letting yourself and being constantly drained. When someone comes next time, even if you learn the lesson, you will repeat the pattern and prophesy me. Okay, so I hear the pattern of giving away my energy and in the same time, picking up patient's energy in order to make them feel better. Yes, I had it. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, even as med student. Until I started facing and doing the work. Well, I did with traditional methods. A while, very short while worked. Very short while because as I got into, into the teaching work, okay, with students, many colleagues filling, filling in documents and so on, and I had the same experience as them in doing that. But they came to me, why? Oh, let Olga will do it. Why should I do it if she can? Okay. So that was, oh, in the beginning, I did it. Until I said, hey, stop. Here is not okay what is happening. Let's see why. I repeat, after learning the receptivity, initially facing what is about, what is happening? I needed to go formally in the root, directly through the root chakra, going in the past lives to see where I agreed at soul level to have this pattern. Until I didn't clear from there, nothing worked. Nothing worked totally. After that, I was fully comfortable saying no. I was fully comfortable to take the weekend to replenish my energy. No problem, no guilt, shame, blame, fear of being abandoned, rejected, or no, nothing like this. With the speaking your truth, that's the witch wound. Well, in the divine feminine, all and all are connected with the intuition, all, okay? Because in each one of them, we use the intuition as in daily life, as in our heal healer's work, okay? We use the intuition. The intuition, we know it's connected with the soul, with the uh, power center, with the sacral, okay? And also the third eye. Okay, so also the major seats of the soul in this. And with the intuition, how many times we are afraid not trusting our intuition? That's which wound. Because I will talk about the abuses endured by the healers, shamans, also herbalists also who was doing divination in order to help or other form or even midwife formally, okay? Or other form of healing work. They, besides the knowledge that they needed to have in the matter of energy and moving energy, astrology also, to know when to take the plant, when has the maximum quantity of the active principles to serve the healing for this was needed pure astrology, was needed crystal, was needed also divination in different forms, also bringing the, also the news and help for the others to know what are the risks, what can happen, how can happen, okay? This was done by healer, by even witches. It was because not, and I will enter to, to explain that not 
all witches are bad. No. And even in the eye of creation, creation do not judge because we bring information back. It's about the soul journey. We as humans, who are we to judge? As long as creation do not judge, do not punish, because creation do not punish, creation just create. And that's it. Now, with the witch wound here, because of the traumas of the healers, sh shamans, and so on, were hunted, were beheaded, hanged, or even drowned. Do not mention the horrors, okay, of tortures. And just because they did what they did, they practice and they practice in the service of their community. They didn't practice for themselves. They practice for the community. Also, for example, midwives. They knew what herbals needs, what in order to help that baby to come. So bringing lives. Okay. And for this, were betrayed, were tortured, killed in the most inhuman way possible. Do not mention that the ones who escaped who escaped this and they wasn't wasn't killed okay they were how how should i explain their rights were taken they were cast out uh, they were abandoned ashamed publicly okay then be, being excluded from the community, they couldn't survive and they died in horrible hunger and the rest of the, okay, uh, formally couldn't even survive as it wasn't in community because that's the role of community, uh, of individuals supporting each other. Well, horrible deaths also because of that. That and everything like this, all, all these parts are stored in the DNA of our ancestors, automatically in us. We found and we found in the daily life. And I will give example, examples related to this. Well, also, not only in this collective consciousness, if we don't bring the understanding, that's the first part of the healing, then facing and healing. Well, let's see a little bit how we will move in the ascension process because we will not, definitely. We will not, because we are here to support and to do the work. Also to support the ascension of Mother Earth. Mother Earth supported us thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. Gave us all. And we do what? We are not capable to face it. We are not capable to bring her the, the healing that she needs in the ascension. Well, let's see. Let's see a little bit. Let's let's see the horrors that are happening in the world. That's the pure wounded divine masculine. Most of it, okay. The wounded divine masculine can heal only if comes out the divine feminine, shows up, and embrace. Because the Divine Feminine is the one that would bring the peace, would bring the information, the healing, support, and what it needs to the Divine Masculine. 
I mentioned in another interviews, the divine masculine with the wars, they gone before to the oracles to find out what will happen. That's pure divine feminine. So they cannot be one without the other. Here, in the component of the witch wound that I said, uh, the type of healer that entered in this, first of all, is the fear of speaking up, of speaking your truth, the fear of being the advocate of your truth, feeling formally that, feeling the terror, okay, that you will be judged, you are not safe, you are, you are in huge danger, that you must, you can be killed, that, okay, all this. Now, with the public speaking, if someone has the fear of speaking up, fear, not any kind of fear, terror formally, of being humiliated, being ashamed, being, that's connected with abandonment, trust issues, with the rest of the elements that was already in the, in the Chiron myth, okay? So in the wounded healer, but it's also with the being exposed, being betrayed, being seen, okay, as healer, as witch, as shaman, as, okay, and in the same time, being exposed, put in danger, in life danger. So danger to, to be catched and automatically automatically punished in the most horrific ways that are in the genes, are in, in the DNA, okay, of our of our ancestors who gone through this. And I know what I speak about because I faced this. And I didn't understood what is happening and why. For example, public speaking, I had nothing speaking in front of hundreds of students. I had nothing, okay? When came the telev television team and to be on camera, well, watch after Olta. Olta is nowhere, <laughs> running formally. And I didn't understood, even in the daily life, what is happening and why. Until I gone, I already having the experience, okay. I said, okay, let's see what is there. Also, in the healer's work, well, 20, 25 plus years when I was doing in the traditional classical way the um, curse removers, okay, with pure rituals exactly as it as it was in old times, okay, with all the elements. As long as I work for someone who, whom I knew or a referral who also knew, it was okay. If someone else came, even at a recommendation, okay, well, it needed it needed to run a little bit after me until until I opened up to have the courage. Yes, I do this. Yes, I do this. Yes, I can help. Not trusting, feeling exposed, feeling extremely afraid, and I had not. I had no reason. Okay, that's one. So even though. No matter what, I did it with all. Also, with public speaking, exposing, having the courage to say, hey, I'm a healer. That's what I do. And I am all of them. Because I, I know how to work with the darkness in order to save to take out a soul from the 
from the soul agreements from all the, all those parts. I have all the information. This didn't came from the nowhere. Came from recognizing my past lives. Came from reactivation sequentially as I did the work and I had the courage because came, yeah, okay, a lot of challenges along along the way. I wasn't afraid. Also, before, finally, I had also the near-death experience. After that was the really biggest step, okay, when I said, well, okay, who like it? Okay. Who doesn't? It's also okay, but I will do what my soul requests. So what is in my mission to do without being afraid? Because I know my soul. I'm not abandoned. I'm not betrayed. Creation do not betray. Life do not betray. Doesn't forsaken. No. People do it. People, people bring only, in fact, the information of what you need to face in yourself, what is still there in the pattern, and maybe we didn't work truly, totally. That's why they come, because they come to our higher levels, the higher levels of the of the soul, showing, hey, you. Still still didn't get it. You still didn't work on this. And it's there. You agreed to work on it. That's why they came. Not because someone is punishing us. No. We agreed at soul level to clear, to support the ascension, to do what we have to do. And the most difficult part is healing the divine feminine. Also, because it's much too much, too much also, and deep as pattern. By the way, to whom doesn't know, when I talk about the divine feminine, that's in all of us, that's in you, Monza, that's in me, that's in each and every one, okay? So just because biologically I'm female, Yes, okay, I, maybe I access it easier in the beginning, but in the same time, you, as male, being a healer, also, you already access this part of you because you decided to do it. You decide to listen to your soul. You decide to listen to your call, to your calling, to the calling of your soul, and to answer yes to creation and to your soul. Exactly like me. So the divine feminine, also all the forces, what I want to mention from fairies to each and every dimension, okay, will just support us in the moment when we have the courage to recognize and do it. Uh, beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Alta, and uh, yeah, for describing like the the wounded healer, the witch wound, and the divine feminine, and also its relationship to the divine masculine. And uh, yeah, I believe all of us like we found some patterns that we experienced or still experience in in, in relation to the to to those uh, um, maybe the traumas coming from our ancestors and. Uh, which are here for us to to uh, maybe tr to contribute and and serve to to their transmission and support in uh, our lineage. So um, th thank you for that. And uh, so definitely, yeah. just a second. Yes. Definitely is I would say it's our duty to answer to the call of Mother Earth and our soul, our souls. Okay, it's our duty. We agreed to do it. We didn't agree to let ourselves like the feather in the wind. Uh -huh. We agreed to do it. So in that, in fact, if Mother Earth supports us and gives us all, yes? Okay, 
here from Mother Earth is everything, is all the elements, all the five elements that I would say, okay, even the spirit world, because it's connected. So all of them are part and part of the evolution and part of the ascension, part connected to Mother Earth. When I talk about the spirit world, I talk also about the, the principles and what can found also in the crystalline core of the Mother Earth, also the beings attached to attached to the earth, attached to the air, to the water, to the to all the principles. Okay. So they are also each and every everyone is ascending, but not everyone is returning here if it doesn't do the work. Who knows? We can land God knows where, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because the universe is pretty big. There are enough universes, not only one. So, yeah, you know, after all, instead of many of us, complaining, feeling victimized, feeling this and that, okay? What if we do what exactly Carl Jung said, okay? To face the wound because the healing is in recognizing and facing the wound. There is no other way. Running from it will let the wound kill you, not heal. Or, or awaken and heal. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for for everything you shared. And uh, do do you feel it's the right timing for uh, the group process about uh, clearing the fear of or, in, in our truth? Or yes, yeah? and it can be, but also can be answering to to the questions to the. the to, to the questions, if if this or do the healing process, both of them is the same for me. I'm mm. ready. Maybe uh, we, we start with the with the healing process and uh, just the time to receive questions. So so everyone, uh, you can type your questions on the chat boxes on Zoom and also on YouTube, and uh, also you can raise your hand on Zoom by pressing reactions, then raise hand. So. Um, so let's start with the group process and then we move with the, the group process. process. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So in the beginning, I want all of you lay down, lay down because it's very important. Also have a little bit of water nearby to drink, even during the process, if it needs. In the beginning, you will call my presence in. Just simple saying, God, you will be with me. Just it. That's it because I will bring in my entire team is already here. Okay. As all of you, doesn't matter how many. If you have kids or someone else who want to experience the same, you can call them in because you call them in at soul level. Okay, yeah. Okay. I will close that because I work to the third time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Perfect. Circle of light, close circle of light around each one of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, first, we will ask the ego to step aside. Now it's not the time for the ego, but it's time for the soul. Okay, opening up all your fields, inviting our ancestors to receive the healing at soul level. Healing also with higher levels, yeah. Okay, healers, shaman, with shamans, witches of the old, other healers, middle, all, and also of the new, who want to receive, is welcomed. Oh, perfect. 
Now, if there are any obstacles in order to release the maximum, if you would like soul healing acceleration to remove these obstacles, please say yes. If there are any obstacles in order to receive the maximum of this healing, if you would like soul healing acceleration to remove these obstacles, please say yes. Okay, my team, all of you, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, Isis is also here. The rest are also here. Okay, the big groups of uh, archangels also. What forces? So let's see a little bit because I want become himself. Yeah, come, come, come. come. Today you will you will support us. Mm. All the contracts. Yeah. Okay, so. Now, picture yourself, see yourself as needing to have an exposure and to talk about healing, to talk about your soul work, to talk about, to speak up or to defend, to stand in your truth, one of them. All activation rules continuously also on the replay. Just feel the feeling, feel the feelings and feel the emotions, even the insecurity, the deep insecurity. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starts showing up. Perfect. Now, I will bring in the fire of transformation directly okay and i will put all of you each one of you in one and will rule totally around transmuting and uncreating in the same time while i'm activating the white flame in the root the activated white flame i want yeah Okay, subconscious directly, because we will go directly also on the timeline. Yeah. Okay, subconscious. Yeah. High levels. Yeah. Okay. Now, here I want the circuit. In the mind. Okay. Okay. I want the throat. Okay. Sacral. Okay, the heart is okay. In the heart I will activate the green flame for the heart pins that will also transmute from the expanded heart. Okay, and I want to bring in the double helix of light. That will totally transmute from DNA, those tissues from all levels. Also, yeah, spinning, 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 spinning now. Let's see a little bit the agreement when you experience all this for all that medium. Okay, let's go back, 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 back. Flames. Okay, show me. Show me, show me. Yeah, I'm talking to, to the higher levels. Okay, show me. Okay, okay. The original point I, I want. Yeah. Many of you. Oh, yeah. Okay. From speaking up, let, let's with the speaking up, all the throat, all the, yeah. Okay. Okay, horrible horrors. Okay. Okay, let's bring in and collapsing the 
timelines because I want to activate directly the fire of transformation on the timelines. Agreement of the as okay, we have the agreement of the ancestors. Okay, yeah. Okay, directly going, going, going. Goes back, back, back thousands and thousands of years. Okay. I will sum up also the bodies, summon, summon the bodies to clear them. Okay, show me, show me. Okay, we want here the white flame together with the fire of transformation. Clear, 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 dissolve, 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 releasing, 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 and create. Spinning, I'll create, and create, and create. Dissolve, 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 delete the frequency. Deleting. Deleting, deleting. Okay. Transmute. Transmute, transmute, transmute. Light, 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 light. Show me. Yeah, crystalline. Light, 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 light. Okay. Let's see the next. I want to go to three. At minimum three lifetimes. Okay, drown. We had it. Okay, yes. And then another, yes. Okay, show me. Show me because I want the patterns directly. The patterns. Just for being formally guilted. Ashamed, ostracized. Okay, good. Okay, let's take the patterns. Okay, higher levels. We have the request for the healing and the agreement. Yeah. So let's show. Let me show you. Let me show you here. Now we are in the new paradigm. Yes, the lessons are learned. Okay, yeah. Okay, allow me. L give me the light. Okay, directly. Okay, dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. That all these abusive pattern dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. Releasing, releasing, releasing. And now, okay, the double helix of light. Uncreate, 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 uncreate. Dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Deleting all information coming. All information, delete, delete, delete. Total transmute, transmuting, transmuting, transmuting. The bodies. Now, let's clear the bodies. Mm -hmm. Putting the white flame around spinning around activating the fire of transformation directly and the double helix of light with the feathers of light yes okay dissolving 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 releasing total releasing 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 release release one deep breath all of you Releasing, releasing, releasing. I want the blue light, 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 light. Okay, this is moving, coming now to your body. Okay. Okay, let's spin forward. Better. So formally feeling terrorized if you would speak up as you as you feel like you are behind or something like that. Okay. Strangled. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's move out. Let's pin it the white flame around the activated white flame around the body. 
clear, 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 dissolve, 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 releasing, 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 moving, going directly in the throat, spinning the white flame in the throat. I want to connect the white flame from here, the white flame in the sacral and the mind. Okay, connecting them, spinning, clear, 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 dissolve, 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 releasing, 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 fire of transformation, uncreate, 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 dissolve, 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 total delete, deleting, 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 that's it, that's it. Okay, now... I want to extract this pattern totally from the DNA and also the ancestral patterns. Okay, helix of light. Mm -hmm. Spinning it, total shift. Shift and clear, shift and clear, shift and clear. Out, out, out. Light, crystalline, light, 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 light. Blue light, 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 light. Okay, let's spin out the fear of, of being ostracized, abandoned, betrayed. If you show yourself, if you speak up, if you show your truth, or if you have the courage to show or to stand, stand up for yourself, Okay, show me, show me the patterns. Okay, I want the flames, spinning them, just one deep breath while I'm spinning them. Dissolving, 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 releasing, releasing, releasing. Fire of transformation, uncreate, uncreate, uncreate. Dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Releasing, releasing, releasing. Okay. Light, 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 light. Flow of light. Light, light, light. Okay. Perfect. Feel, feel into the fear of speaking, fear of standing in your truth. Uh -huh. Okay. Root. Okay, just listen to my voice. Okay, let me. Okay, connecting the white flame in the root, white flame in the sacral, white flame in the throat, white flame in the brain and in the sub subconscious. Connecting them, spinning out, dissolving, 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 dissolving. Total release. Now. Releasing, 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 spinning the helix, the double helix, shift, 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 total shift, out, 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 out. perfect, let's see the uncreation, total uncreation, dissolving all the information that was anywhere in the quantum space related to this, coming back information, yeah, no more agreements here. Okay, let's see a little bit because I sense some discomforts. Okay, emissaries of the light, come. Okay, let's see. One in the throat. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay. Another one. Okay. So, talking to the discomforts, it's time to go home. Now is the moment. Now is the moment, no suffering. Go. Let me sorry, take them. Take them home. Go, go, go. Okay. Light, 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 light. Bringing directly the key of life. Bringing the key of life. Okay. Healing. Healing the body, mind, and subconscious from all these pains, to all lifetimes. Isis? OK. 
Okay, I want the divine alignment. Archangels. Okay, Rafael is here also. Uh huh. Okay. Dou doubling the green flame in the heart. Doubling all the heart pains connected to this. Dissolving and healing the heart pains. Dissolve, dissolve, heal, healing, moving through time and space to the expanded, uh, illuminated child also. Here is also a part of the heat. In the child, there's condensing it. Okay. So let's see. Totally acknowledging repositioning here. Okay, yes. One more deep breath to see how the alignment looks like. One more time, spinning the helix of light. It's spinning to each and every cell, each and every bones, tissues all shifting, total shift, total instant. Okay, fire of transformation, each and every cell and structure. Subconscious also, and creating, spinning them. Mm -hmm. Okay, slow release on all levels. Yes, to be for the best of the mind, the body, and the soul also. Okay, now realignment. Realigning the physical body. Spinning in the normal direction, the chakras. Okay, body, mind, the realignment. Spinning, spinning. Spin, 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 spin. Healing the mind also. Perfect. Integration. Anchoring the soul in the body. Anchor. Come, come, come. Come home. Come. Okay, anchoring the soul in the body. Slowly, when you feel ready, open your eyes, drink three shots of water, but move only slowly, nothing sudden, no sudden moves, because need a reintegration of all. And still, everything is spinning in all of you. And it's spinning also in each and every cell, each and every structure. Um, beautiful. Thank you so much, Walter. Um, yeah, uh, powerful process. Uh, yeah, probably I, I didn't lay down because uh, I need to stay near my laptop. But um, yeah, as, as always, it was really powerful healing, very profound. And uh, uh, also, uh, we'd love to hear the feedback from our audience. You can type your experience uh, on the chat boxes. And also, for you, also, I have a question, like, if uh, is it normal to feel when, when bringing that that's, uh, maybe block or the energy that we want to transmute or shift, is it normal to feel emotional during that uh, yes. During the process? Yes, extremely. And that's the real mark that is moving out on. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you again. And uh, yeah, a reminder to everyone, if you want to ask Alta your question, you can raise your hand by pressing reactions, then raise hand on Zoom. And also you can type your questions on the chat boxes on Zoom and uh, on YouTube. And uh, 
in the meantime, Alta, I would love if you can uh, talk a little bit about the program you are offering. Um, and I invite everyone to visit the page yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Alta. yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Alta. O -L -T -E -A. Yes. Or you can click on the. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Or you can click on this special yeah. offer button, which is on the live event page, later on the replay page, or uh, um, on the chat boxes on Zoom and YouTube, and also the link on YouTube uh, uh, description. So, yeah. I will have in front of me the Your okay. Divine Uniqueness page to can talk about each and every, <laughs> okay, what is, what is in the in the package, because I have prepared here, <laughs> okay. So, the pre-recorded healings healing package first all are related and put together for the wounded healer and the witch wound also the lining of the the abuses of the, the healing the divine feminine okay in the first is clearing all the past lives as healer shaman which practice any form of practitioner when be because of what you did, you felt forsaken and betrayed, punished by God, which is, we know it's not true, but because of that, in many other lifetimes were the results of maybe stepping on another path, maybe, or even at some point, because of the suffering, denying your own abilities, denying your own power, and also rejecting it, just in order to be safe and be alive. In the next one, forsaken by life itself. So, betrayed by life, punished by life, because God punished now, everything that is happening in life, as it would be, how should I say, a punishment, betrayal from life. Even if you serve the good, you still experience a lot of, from betrayal, abandonment, and another form of traumas. So feeling formally betrayed, abandoned, forsaken by the all that is life, considering life as a punishment. The next one, fear of unknown. Here is being totally, and it's in not only in the collective consciousness, but also it was in our ancestors and in their traumas, uh, fear of not knowing if you expose yourself, if you show your healing gifts, if to, what is, what will happen? Will you survive? Will you be punished? Will you be beheaded or whatever ever happened in another life? So fear of not knowing what will be. Also, if you listen to your intuition, not knowing what will happen, happen because of that the next one addresses to the two components the wounded healer and the witch wound the pure wounded healer also with the witch wound as i was talking about the in the interview but it's both of the components from fear of standing in your truth because because you will be rejected, abandoned, betrayed, punished, forsaken, and so on. And in the same time, connected with the fear of being seen, fear of showing who you are, to not mention stepping on your mission, because over there, normally, as in healers, as in, in the witch wound, in both of them, stepping on your path comes with terror and horror. And it's time to be cleared because it's not a reality. It's It was about the soul journey. Nothing wrong with this. Heart removal. 
here is putting up a lot of hearts, closing the heart. And here is also a part of closing our own gifts because as the heart is closed, the giving, receiving, also our gifts are closed, formally are shielded, are not let to come at the surface. So here is the healing, the divine feminine, healing also the heart walls around the expanded heart that contains also the hearts of the past lives and all in the soul information. Next one. That's a big one. All that stops you open up yourself and open your heart. Here is, I must shield, I must protect the heart. I must because heart pain or I will never love again. I will never open up my heart to love again because I experience different and different type of heart pains. And that really closes the heart. The next one impacts as the sacral, as the heart at the throat, at the third eye. It's about shutting down all your senses. And why? Because of the horrors experienced in other lifetimes. Agreed in those lifetimes that you don't want to feel anymore. But who knows in how many lifetimes you agreed on that, but you still, now you are here, now you want to do the work, and you, you feel frozen inside and not feeling. That's because the abuses endured the Divine Feminine when, when I was talking about them, and the this decision of shutting down the senses to not feel the pain. Also, not trusting your intuition. It's better to trust only the mind, not the intuition. Also, the vision brings nothing good, brings good only the mind. Well, yes, here it is because of the shutting down of all senses. Also, in this moves with the left side blocks or the blocks of the divine feminine and the third eye blocks. In the same time, the last one is clearing the third eye in the trust issues, having self-doubts and not trusting your own intuition, your own powers your own healing powers, your own spiritual powers, not trusting them. That's also in the third time blocks and also in trusting your own abilities, trusting your own powers, trusting formally what is in your mission. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For th thank you so much, uh, Olta. And um, yeah, first for offering the the recordings. Uh, the ten recordings are included on the healing package. And uh, um, and yeah, like, like from from my experience, because I used your record some uh, other recordings before, um, and it's this, it's similar experience as doing a live healing. Like the presence of Olta will be there and. And the clearing can, can really happen on, on a deeper deeper level. So um, it's energetic, whether live or, or recording, it's, uh, it's similar. And it can be very, very powerful. And also thank you for, uh, for um, offering the one-on-one -on -one sessions for those who want a more personalized uh, experience with you, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And uh, so we have 45 minutes and 60 minutes. 
one on one. That's uh, yes. you can choose from. Yeah. And in that, in in the one on ones, also if needs, not only going to the root of the root in the past lives, also dealing with the dark forces, with whatever agreements are there, were done that stops or brings the issue that the one who's one want the healing. Okay, so in this doesn't doesn't matter what what the issue because for example i experienced this and this and these blocks mm -hmm. okay let's go from there because from there the surprise is exactly in the not even thought direction what is the root and very important also to work with the higher levels also the higher levels of the soul because they are the ones they have and bring the information but if it doesn't bring the, the total correct information cannot be worked on because they was the one who show also the elements of the past lives the elements of the contract the elements of the okay so it's very important also to deal with deal with all these from the at the deepest roots of course yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Olta, for uh, sharing your your gifts, your healing and support with our audience. Um, and uh, yeah, so everyone, I highly recommend that you work with Olta and uh, sign up for one of these packages. And again, the link is uh, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Olta, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Olta, O-L-T-E-A. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, later on the replay page. The link also on YouTube video description and on the chat boxes. And uh, yeah, we have some uh, feedback about the, the group process you did. First from uh, uh, Cherry. My body felt heavy as if a weight was on top of it during the healing. Also hot. What did this mean? So lot of fiery energy that was uh, was released okay so were were sherry felt the hot it were traumas through fire energy okay so being by that stake directly okay that was with releasing from past lives directly okay encoded and it was encoded in her body because it's in the dna of our ancestors and also in our cells okay and in that moment when i released using extremely high vibrational frequencies i shifted immediately and totally so yes it felt as that hot is leaving going down okay so yes uh the body it was needed to be heavy to not can make any sudden moves okay uh in that because i i worked at soul level but i worked also at the body levels in that your soul was in all the all the lifetime that was the moment when you felt the body extremely heavy yeah thank you thank you Alta. And thank you, Cherry, for your feedback. And uh, Pippa, feeling hot and a bit sick, also calm. Thank you. Yes, it's perfectly normal. Uh, being sick affected also the power center. And from there, feel the digestion symptoms of feeling sick. Okay. And even, well, with feeling hot, I explained the calm. Yes, because the mind cannot and the ego also, okay? Couldn't, the mind was also calmed down and I also brought the healing also to the mind. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you, Pippa, for your feedback and uh, cherish your to you, thank you. Um, another one from uh, Alan. Thank you for the healing session. Uh, definitely fe felt enormous amount of nasty stuff pulled out through the mouth. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. And uh, 
A comment from Susanna. I advise everyone to get the recordings. They are a life changer. Thank you, Susanna. Um, and yeah, so for uh, the questions, so we have a question from Sue. Can you please unmute yourself? So let's see. Hello. I'm looking. Hi, Monica. Yeah. My Hi. name is Sue. Hi, Otta. Uh, Jill? Hello. My Hello. name is Sue. Yes. Thank you yes, very Sue. much. For, yes. Thank you very much for the process. Uh, you hit a lot of points that refer to me. My still, my one thing is trusting, I guess, with the heart. How do I yes. unblock? Over there, you need to, um, to work on tr trust issues, okay? In order mm -hmm. to, uh, you need to work on, on trust issues, not only. It's not enough to work on inner child because the inner child is in the root. You need to work on the sacral and heart in the same time. Trusting and also with the third eye. So for this, they are opening the heart, Okay. Trust, okay. in order to trust your heart, you need to open the heart. You need to remove the, the walls of the heart, okay? And also to trust your own feelings. If you don't trust your feelings and your emotions, you will not trust your heart, okay? Okay. Is it clear how I'm explaining? So as long as you do not trust your emotions, your gifts, you will not trust your feelings that are in the heart. Okay? The emotions are in the sacral, by the way. Okay? So, as long as you do not trust what you feel, you don't, do not trust your own power, your own decision, your own intuition, you will not trust your heart. So, you need to work on all this in order to trust your heart. And does that for, the, prevent... for, for this to open to open the uh -huh. to open the heart if you want if you decide yes the, yes the pre-recorded package is okay but I would recommend here needs a session a on one on one mm -hmm. and the 60 the 60 minutes the 60 oh, okay. because there are a lot to work on okay on these components. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for that information. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great, blessed day. And also, Manaset, you too. You too. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Alta. And um, we have uh, Tanya. Can you please unmute yourself? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Tanya. Nice to see you, Matsev. Nice to see Hello. you. Hello. Hello. My question is, I keep procrastinating with my YouTube channel, and I wonder if it's me or something is just holding me back. Okay. It's, it's not about external interferences, okay? <laughs> it's about the wounded healer and the witch wound okay because you are afraid to show up one yeah yes I am. <laughs> okay but i thought i will now i'm ready i thought i was like 100 percent sure no because now... you didn't uh, you didn't work totally because over there need to be released also your agreements okay <laughs> also to to bring back your soul fragments because because you didn't trust yourself Mm. Okay, in that you constantly was giving away from your own Kundalini or life force energy, and in the same time, all these information are encoded in the soul, also big soul pieces, chunks of the soul. Mm. Okay, big pieces. So, I would recommend the session one on one if you want to be over any form of procrastination. 
Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Tanya, you. waiting, you. waiting for you because you are a healer and you know. <laughs> you well, know you found yourself in all that we talked about in all. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thanks By the lot. way, it's an honor to be what we are. It's not a shame. We are no, here no, to I'm serve. Not the same. serve. I just... oh, we are here to serve, but what stays in the way. It's also our agreement and fear because we know, okay? We yeah. talked about All okay. right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Monsen. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Tanya. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Walter. Um, yeah, uh, like many times, like, uh, like the experience of Tanya, we can experience it in different ways. Uh, many times we, we keep postponing and because we are afraid of showing up and and also we want that things work works out like from the beginning um, and that people will accept us as we are and we will be well received um, but but yeah uh, like you said it's it's more about healing the, the witch wound and the wounded healer and yes and then we start attracting uh, people who will uh, resonate with us um, yes, definitely. Yeah. And first of all, the people who do not resonate and make their part of the wounded part, okay? So uh, if they don't see their lesson, they fall off, simply. And because we worked on, will be no more resonance, they will cannot anymore okay uh, also feed from our essence feed from our energy feed from our field on all levels okay so in that moment they will leave they will turn direction change direction it even maybe they disappear maybe not from our fall off totally maybe not uh, but they will never re-abuse us no because they will search in another direction where they feed from also energy and so on okay so in that moment really with this i would say yes the witch wound yes the wounded healer definitely okay with this the most important the healing is in us. We should not think or care what others think, what others say. Okay? No. First of all, we are responsible to heal our wounds. When our wounds are exposed and healed, giving them also the recognition, rec recognizing also the medicine in them. In that moment, immediately, the ones who brought the lessons or the wounds, will all, or they will change awake and awake, working on themselves because that's a, one possibility, or they will fall apart. They will go. Because they do not match anymore, because we expose, we give light to the, to the wound that was shadow. Becoming light, change the frequency. That's why it's, okay? So, if we want to heal, we need to have the courage to face it. And everything is in us, exactly as said Carl Jung. Okay, the medicine of healing and the resolution can be done only, can be obtained only when we face, when we see the one bringing light to it, to see it, experience it, recognize it, accept it, release it on all levels. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, also a question like, 
Thus, taking the first step can also be part of the healing process because it, uh, yes. it can bring the wound to the surface and the triggers, and it makes it maybe uh, easier to recognize the wound. And then, like you said, like face it instead of uh, running away from it. Yes, yes. Initially, bringing the triggers, it's not really comfortable. But the final results will be. A healing journey is not bed of roses. Oh, no, <laughs> really. Okay. But the results, yes. The result is total trans transformation, not only awakening, but also total transformation. Yes, the journey has a lot of smells on the way that are not really roses, okay? But the thorns, they serve in order to not lose the direction, okay? To say it like this, the thorns being, being the triggers, being the pain, being they are there to show that, hey, you still have to work on. You still. So in a way, even them are serving. And it's important to, rec to know that a healing journey is not just being comfortable laying on the bed. No, you do, you do the shadow work. You do the exercises that you need to do. You do what you need to do, okay? And also facing the shadows and the triggers, it's not comfortable. The result after releasing them were game changer. <laughs> That's the game changer, okay? So it's very, very important also to bring this understanding to know because I heard many, many people complaining that how difficult it is and so on and expected the healing journey to be exactly as I said, but the frozen. Oh, yeah. Okay. I never said this, and I will never say it. A true healing journey is not. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you, Alta. And uh, another question is, uh, how to know what serves us more, like the first step taking, taking the leap or more taking, uh, taking it slowly? Uh, because it, can, it depends on the person, like which one can serve um, different people. But how to know which one will serve us because for some maybe taking the leap can feel very overwhelming uh, at some point okay along the way longer time ago a few years ago it was the choice of the slower path but now because of the ascension even mothers do not allow the slow path because that's how it's coming. Even the karma clearing and everything that is happening, it's happening at the speed that from day to day is increasing the speed. So here in this, they impose the rhythm. In this case, as we step on the path of healing, we do not choose the speed. The speed is chosen by, by the rest. We had the chance years ago, okay, until we were in the old paradigm. And what happened when, when, not today, tomorrow, when, next week, uh -huh. or so on. And until came the moment, okay, that's it, done, okay, no more. And we stepped, finally, and it, it was the time in the new paradigm. Okay. Yeah. So this, this so, is why. Uh, go on. For, yes. For now, we don't choose anymore the speed. The speed is imposed already by all the shifts that happens from planetary level and so on. Because also our, our higher levels, the higher levels of the soul, they serve the soul, what the soul agreed. And there is no more time, no more. Okay. So in this, everything is extremely speed up. Yeah. So 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 that's good if we see it as uh, we experience shift faster. So it's uh, it's more encouraging. And in uh, fact, yes. It, you know yeah. why? Why should why should I bear 
so long the pain when I, when I, it can be much stronger but shorter. Yeah. Okay. So I would choose, for example, the second, not the first. Not prolonging. No. Short, but the most intense formally. Exactly as I do in the deep core emotional release process this year. Okay. So in that, you fall apart formally from pain. But when you are out, you released even all the past lives. And that's it. But half an hour, it's done. Okay? Just, just an example. Or you deal now one week, now another week of pain. Now it was years ago. Okay? Now it's not supported anymore because everything is in huge acceleration. We need to understand that supporting means releasing the darkness also from the Mother Earth level. And it was enough. That's why it's not supported anymore, the continuous delay, continuous procrastination, because in fact, it would be just procrastination, nothing else. Yeah, uh, it, it it makes sense. So, thank you, thank you, Alta. Thank you very much for uh, all the guidance, the healing, um, and the support you you brought to our audience. And um, yeah, and also thank you for the program and the uh, one-on-one -on -one session you, you sessions that you are offering. So, um, very grateful to you. I'm grateful to be here with you and serve your audience, and my soul mission, of course. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Thank you again, Alta. And uh, also everyone, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for uh, co-creating with us this experience and uh, sharing with us your really amazing uh, energy with us. So thank you for that. And um, again, you can sign up for one of the uh, three packages that Alta is offering to us on the page yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Alta, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Alta, O-L-T-E-A. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live event page, later on the replay page. The link also on YouTube video description and on the chat boxes on YouTube and Zoom. And um, yeah, uh, Jerry, Sherrod, thank you. Tanya, thank you. Um, Annette, thank you. So yeah, thank you again, everyone. And uh, I'm sending you so much love and I will see you on the next call. Bye-bye, everyone.